Alright guys, so I'm starting off this tutorial by mentioning something very important that I actually forgot to do at the end of this tutorial and if you don't do this, all of the work that you're going to be doing for setting up this rig in is going to be lost. So this is really important guys, please remember this. Um, once you've set up your rig for your character, which I'm going to be showing you how to do from scratch, uh, while you're still in this workspace, so I'll just quickly just click on rig in, bind mesh and just do a quick very very quick pose uh, nothing too hectic I'll just move his leg or move the legs whatever so you've got your rig over here you're capable of posing this character uh, what you don't want to do is go to Z plugin and you don't want to click on T pose sub T because then you are going to lose this rig and that's gonna suck so once you've created your rig, before you even start posing, once you're happy with your rig, or maybe you've posed and you know you've refined it, you want to go ahead and click on save as and you want to save this rig as a tool. So let me show you if you don't do that, I'm on bind mesh. If I just pose this character right now and I go to T pose to sub T. It's cool, right? It's been posed, all right? So how, how do I end up posing my character again? My rig is lost, okay? But lucky for me, I can go to load tool because I already did for this character. I can just go to load tool, bring that rig uh, back into the scene. It'll load it in as a tool. And then from here, I can go to store TM rig, okay? And I can go back to my character and I can go to T pose. Oops. I can go to uh, Z sphere and then T pose mesh. I uh, save select T pose to disk. Uh, nope. Wait, save select T pose to disk. Okay, we can save that. Do I really want to? Okay. It's uh, not doing that. Oh, okay. I don't, I actually don't even need to go back into T pose, the T pose state. Uh, I can just click on paste TM rig. So I'm basically just pasting that rig back on the character. So I've got my rig back. And then again, it's just going to need a little bit of adjusting. So you can save that rig out in a post state if you really want to, if you know that you're going to come back and maybe do some minor adjustments to the pose. Uh, but this is just one way to bring your rig back. It's really important, guys. You must save your rig as a tool or else you're going to lose your tool. Right, so with that said, let's get started with the, t the tutorial and I'll show you how to create your own rig. Hi, guys. All right, so I thought I'll put a tutorial together just to show you guys how to build your own custom rig. So... For whatever reason, if my rig is still not working out 100% perfect for you guys, you can actually go ahead and build these rigs uh, completely from scratch, which gives you also a lot more freedom uh, for positioning and putting uh, those joints in areas that you think would make the most amount of sense. Now, or for whatever reason, because obviously you can't use a human rig with, let's say, a dragon or something like that, so you will have to build custom rigs uh, for stuff like that for posing. So I'm going to use uh, another human character over here just to show you uh, the process that I use. So just put that into edit mode. And now uh, for setting up your own custom rig, again, with the sub tool, I need to make sure that there's at least uh, another sub tool uh, in our scene. So again, I'm just going to go ahead, mask this, go to extract 0 0.001, extract and click accept, just so we've got another piece of geometry. Okay, and then we can go over to Z plugin. We can go to transpose master, and then we're going to click on Z sphere rig and layer. So that's basically going to create a new layer per sub tool. Uh, so this also comes in handy. And then from there, we can click on T pose mesh. It's going to send us into the transpose master workspace. And now this is basically the beginning of setting up our own custom rig. So it's going to give you this gigantic Z sphere. So I'm using the hotkeys uh, Q to create a new Z-sphere, W for move, E uh, for scale, and R for rotate. So I'm going to go to scale E. I'm going to turn on my symmetry, and let's just scale this down. So the way I start creating these rigs, I start here by the, uh, the pelvis. 
here by the groin area and uh, that I actually want to make that a little bit smaller so I would start by creating a sphere in this region now guys if you're still unsure of uh, where you need to be placing z-spheres uh, for a human or whatever you plan on doing you just want to pay attention to uh, where joints would be uh, the stuff responsible for where how arms bend how legs bend uh, bend and all of that so just do a little bit of research go on google look at the different joints in the body uh, but i have put this image together let me just get it quickly for you guys i do have this image over here uh, which outlines uh, the different areas that i created uh, for my rig so you could basically create your own custom rig based off this and modify it or just use this as a guideline all right so like i said i start uh, over here by the pelvis and then i'm going to turn on uh, my symmetry is turned and I'm going to press Q and now we've got these green dots and that's going to indicate with these uh, red and green circles or so uh, and you can see we are in edit mode, uh, draw mode sorry so that means we're going to be drawing out new z-spheres so if I left click drag that out I'm going to create um, some z-spheres over here for the hips so I just drag that into place uh, now I'm just doing this quickly, probably I want to be a little bit more accurate and you know more anatomically correct uh, with placing these things because that's really important. It's going to determine how a certain joints uh, end up um, rotating. So I'll do that and let's continue building uh, the rest of this lower region. So again I'm pressing Q to go back into Z-spheres. We can create one over there. W move bring that down and let's see I'll just show you really quick we'll place one here by the knees I'm not going to do one uh, as complex as my other rig so one by the knees because so it's a joint uh, that bends so again references the z-spheres is joints that's where areas are going to bend and uh, again Q let's create another one W for move bring that down we'll place this one over here by the ankle and again just move in making sure it's in the correct position so place one here by the ankle I uh, will create one like for the heel or the foot and the toes so Q W something there and then another one for the toes uh, now you guys can obviously go crazy over here and create z-spheres for each individual toe if that's what you guys are going for all right now let's continue with the top part of our model just move that a little bit yeah. right so let's continue building the top section all right so um, we're gonna go ahead and start building the top I'm gonna press Q to go back into z-spheres we'll place the z-sphere over here and I'll drag this up and we'll position this uh, over here by the chest then I'm going to uh, basically let's see I'll create another z-sphere uh, for the clavicle and drag oops W drag that up place it by the clavicle I can bring this down a little bit maybe make it a little bit more centered with the chest so we've got the clavicle over here again pressing Q W move that out position that and again we want to make sure we're looking at this from all angles from the side as well and then the chest area over here I'm going to create a z-sphere in the side move that up and this one's gonna go all the way here to the shoulder so I'm gonna try and place that joint right here by the shoulder okay and then we're going to press Q create another joint uh, drag that out place this one over here by the elbow and then Q again drag that out place this one by the wrist and then our last one I'm just going to scale this down a little bit and then our last one Q and W for move is going to be the hand all right now we need to uh, create another one over here in the center 
you can see when it goes green like that that means it's going to create one z sphere from that center point press w move that up so we've got the neck over here press q again on that center region w move up here by the jaw q move up and place this one inside of the head all right so this would be a basic rig uh, but i'm going to show you uh, there's something that i have left out and i'm doing that on purpose and i'm going to show you why you should add those supports uh actually wait before i before we get to that um yeah so you this is actually ready to go you could use this as a rig uh, once you're ready with this you'll scroll down to a uh, rigging you'll click on bind mesh and then you can press r for rotate and this is exactly what I'm talking about, about the stuff that I left out on purpose. You can see that this area is starting to distort quite a bit. And I'm going to be showing you why I'm adding some supporting uh, joints over there. But as you can see, we can actually pose this. So let me take off symmetry. This model can be posed right now uh, with this rig. You can see you can move that up. And you can start posing it like this, but uh, without those additional supports that I've added in the rig that I've created, uh, sometimes the mesh ends up distorting quite a bit and you'll have to do quite a lot of uh, cleanup work. You'll still have to do some cleanup work with my rig, but uh, this is why I recommend adding in some additional support, especially for humans or whatever you're creating. So I'm going to go out of that and just to fix some of those problems we see over here, we need some additional supports, right? We need a support that's going to be placed over here on this lower section by the uh, boobs, <laughs> by the sternum, and I'm going to create another one over here by the abdomen area. So with my rig, if I want to insert a new joint, I literally just need to hover over one of these areas, press Q, and it inserts a new joint. So now I can press Q and drag this out. So, oops, I want to make sure symmetry is turned on can drag that out, move, and I'm probably just going to scale this down a little bit. And uh, again, Q on the front, and uh, move that like that. And then again, like I said, we want to create a support. It's like here in this lower region uh, by the sternum. Create a support that goes out. And this sometimes it uh, tends to solve some of those issues i mean it's still not going to be perfect over here you're probably still going to have to sculpt but it's going to eliminate uh, some of those uh, issues that you might be facing uh, in the long term so trying to place these uh, over here should be fine that will allow me to manipulate uh, the chest region as well and uh, I'm just trying to see, you want to add some additional supports over here as well so that we get a nice range of motion on the shoulders. So just insert in a point over there and another point there should be fine. And then some supports here by the elbow. I'm going to scroll down. We want to place some supports over here by the, uh, by the, uh, the thighs. Let's place the support over there another one over there should be fine and then some supports by the knee as well again having more supports means you have more control over the range of motion but can sometimes um, make the posing process a lot more complex so having less points in certain areas makes things a little bit easier uh, but you'll see now adding those additional points if we bind the mesh now and we go from here you can see that it's not going super crazy like it was previously. You can see there's some issues on the back, but you can just smoothen that or sculpt it out. Uh, but adding these additional supports here by the sternum and the abdomen uh, makes things a lot more uh, easier. And then we're good to go. We can start posing our model. Uh, it makes the process enjoyable. And again, giving credit to Paul Gabari. He basically taught me all of these techniques uh, I'm basically like just resharing the techniques he taught me on my channel, uh, but I do have this rig ready to download that you guys can use. It's transferable between characters, and it just makes the posing process, uh, I think, more enjoyable. 
instead of having to use a bunch of masks uh, in my opinion uh, masks are okay uh, but having a rig it means that it's as simple as selecting joints that have been placed in areas that make sense uh, adjusting those joints as you can see and just posing your character so as long as you guys don't go too crazy with your poses like pose your pose your model in a way that would make sense uh, not something crazy that the human body is probably not capable of doing because uh, yeah it's definitely going to show uh, but it, yeah you're probably still gonna have to do some post mo work uh, look at uh, different poses and see how uh, the anatomy reacts in those different poses so that it looks a little bit more believable but uh, yeah this is a great tool for rigging and posing uh, custom characters uh, within ZBrush so I hope you guys have learned something useful from this like I said credit to Paul Gabari for teaching me the techniques uh, but now you guys can go ahead and create your own rigs that you can set up for your custom characters and it really is that simple guys Alright, then when I'm done here, I just go to T pose sub T. And bam, there we go, our character's pose. So we have the T pose and the pose. Now, if you guys watch my tutorial with my custom rig, I actually show you, before we do all of this, I actually create a layer over here. And that layer means that when we actually pose our character, we can go back to the T pose and go to the pose stage. So that means if want to continue sculpting on this we can just go back to the tpo sculpt on it on that layer it would be zero and then we can go back to the post date and all those details will transfer over so yeah guys that's how you create these rigs super simple super powerful i prefer it uh, to masking it just gives you a bit more control and yeah as always guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more tutorials all right goodbye